know, I thought I, I thought my whole career was over. I had to look at the words, you know, and they were printed up for me. I couldn't even use the computer or anything. The words were all jumbled, and, and but what was crazy, I picked up the guitar, and I was like, I know the shape of a G or whatever it is. I know what they are in my fingers, but I was like, what is a G? What's a G? Like, it's crazy when you think about, like, well, what's the meaning of a letter? There is a song for everything. Once there were one, now there are three. Press all your heart into the ground. Is there enough love to go around? I mean, people have their epiphanies. How are they have them? They can have them. You know, Ram, Ram Das had him doing had it doing acid. And Eckhart had it with a suicide attempt, and, and mine was a medical intervention. But it, I I was just sort of forced into it. I couldn't do much, and I was just I sort of my I lost my ego. And thank God. So I think that that sort of is your, in my opinion, your rebirth. You kind of lost your duality. It, it's bizarre. It's because music was always my meditation. It was always my prayer life, it was always that, but it was always when I was doing music. And then I think the difference is it just, it's just sort of always that way. It's like I'm always in that, mostly in that state of, you know, I'm just here. I was kind of sitting in the back porch of the a place we lived, and I was just looking at the, you know, I couldn't, couldn't really do a lot, but I was, I would sit there and I could take care of myself and all that. But my mind just couldn't really function, and, and I think God was just shutting it down. It was just like, there's no time, you don't need to function. Like, you just need to stare at that tree for three hours. And um, there's a lot of, there's a lot in a tree. It's pretty crazy. And once I kind of landed in that, it just sort of stayed there. The true thing in, in music and in, in art, you know, a lot of it is to re, is to re eliminate yourself so that you can receive things that are higher than you. That's always the way I've always gotten to things, and so that is very meditative. But this was just sort of like you're just always <laughs> you're just sitting wherever you're sitting. I'll go to a, I'll be at a red light, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, the red light is like telling me to stop. My whole thing now is I just think it's all about to follow the good. Is the uh, there's a uh, Thessalonians? I think it's Paul's letter where he says, you know, we should, we can't fight evil with evil, or that we almost we all have to follow the good. And, and you know, so I think that's just kind of to me the whole the, probably the rest of the intention of my life is just to follow the good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.